one of the world's most dangerous animals is on the rise. Remarkably adaptable, these tiny creatures are thriving as climate change disrupts our planet's vital waterways, which are now carrying a bigger threat than ever before. Nos tomó de sorpresa, pensábamos que no iba a llegar esa magnitud tan grande en la altura de, del río y perdimos todo, absolutamente todo. When Peru's River Pura burst its banks after extreme rains, Cristobal's entire community was displaced. Acá en el pueblo de San Pablo, en las calles, quedó una, un mínimo, un 640 personas. But as floodwaters recede, they leave behind ideal breeding sites for mosquitoes. With over 3,500 species around the world, these insects play a crucial role in the food chain and beyond. But a handful are some of the most dangerous disease spreaders on the planet. Some only need a bottle cap full of water to breed in. And as their numbers rise, so does the risk of dangerous viruses spreading, including dengue, also known as breakbone fever. Cristobal's community was once again on the front line. Y mi persona, yo, mi esposa no cayeron, gracias a Dios. Pero cayó mis hijas, cayeron mis nietos, cayó mi yerno. Hubieron algunos que sí tuvieron que visitar los hospitales. Pero lo resto de gente que no, que no fue es porque en realidad tenían miedo, porque ir a los hospitales no había cama donde ponerlos. Y era una cosa como prácticamente irlos, dejarlos y que Dios disponga de ellos. Lo que pasa es que inicialmente no había, no se estaba preparado para estos, este brote de dengue. Entonces, la mayoría de los centros de salud, hospitales, colapsaron. There is no cure for dengue, and the mosquito that carries it is hard to avoid. Peru has struggled to contain this epidemic, but it's not alone. Dengue is spreading fast around the world. The Aedes mosquitoes that are responsible for dengue transmission thrive in warm and humid conditions. And warming temperatures are causing both mosquitoes and the virus to spread to higher altitudes and latitudes. As more nations become suitable habitats and international travel and trade opens routes to new places, more countries are facing outbreaks of their own. At the turn of the century, around half a million cases were reported, and in 2019, over five million cases were reported. Scientists like Rachel are racing to find a solution. With the help of one of Europe's most powerful supercomputers, Rachel is using cutting-edge data analysis to find ways to predict where dengue outbreaks will strike as the climate changes. The early warnings can be translated to early action to allow decision makers to protect local communities by minimizing mosquito breeding sites. Other teams are working on targeting the mosquitoes themselves. Scientists from the World Mosquito Program are infecting mosquitoes with Wolbachia, a naturally occurring bacteria that prevents the mosquitoes from being able to carry the dengue virus. These mosquitoes are then released in their millions in over a dozen countries to breed and share this trait with other mosquitoes, helping to reduce the disease in these areas. These solutions give hope that through communities working together, a way forward can be found to combat dengue in a rapidly changing world.